sailing, sailing down that river, sailing down that river of dreams. I'm sailing down that river, but it seems that I don't know where I'm going, or when the day is through. Back home to you. Hi, and welcome to Sarah Lynn Sailing. This week uh, we'll be delivering a 26 foot non such called uh, Pie Wacket for our friend uh, Fred. Uh, Fred uh, accompanied us on this uh, journey and was a real help and, uh, and a lot of fun uh, on our trip. We left uh, Kingston at approximately 1 a.m. Uh, Monday morning and uh, made it as far as Coburg by 8 p.m. Uh, that evening. Uh, from there we uh, sailed to Whitby and then on to Port Dalhousie where uh, the boat will be berthed. This is the actual Coast Guard uh, station in uh, in Coburg, uh, but uh, oddly enough, the boat isn't here. So uh, they do they, they do have their inflatable, and there's the uh, Canada Customs Office in Coburg. As you can see, uh, it's empty. I'm just going to come out here onto the to the dock. This is actually a, a very nice marina, very well kept, and the staff is uh, extremely professional and friendly. As you can see, there's, there's, there's lots of space here. Now over in that direction there is uh, a beach. So if you do dock here, you can go to the beach, go for a swim. In this direction here is a terrific little uh, ice cream place, just uh, about a two minute walk from the, from the marina. And down uh, this way is uh, uh, a two block walk to the downtown uh, core. Now they have developed this area a little bit with condos and uh, and, and so on. Uh, I don't know if that's good or bad, but that's just, you know, kind of the way progress is. We're getting close to Toronto, so people are uh, moving here from there. And that's progress, I suppose. This is the boat we're delivering, which is a 26 non such. Surprisingly roomy inside. Has this big massive sail here, just one sail, and of course it's a cat boat. But pretty well equipped actually. The owner Fred uh, gave me a call, asked me to sail with him uh, up to St. Catharines, so that was delighted to do so. It's actually our first sail of the year, and he's the first time. Uh, sailor but I think he's really going to enjoy this little boat and it's been uh, proven to be a pretty pretty seaworthy little craft too so uh, a little bit of work to do on it to get it uh, up to snuff but uh, we took a took our time and get a little extra fuel just to make sure we could uh, didn't run out and uh, being, the marina's being closed right now. Uh, we didn't want to be stuck uh, in the middle of the lake uh, with an empty tank of gas. So we brought four jerry cans and we're probably using about a liter an hour at the most. So that's, uh, that's pretty good. Water is just dead calm and a thick fog, so visibility is down to about 50 feet. A 
we were kind of navigating just by uh, just by the GPS here. And of course, the compass. And of course, my faithful companion Fred is here, the owner of this fine to be here. This fine vessel, eh? The owner of this fine vessel. <laughs> and I am learning by the minute how to sell property from this man. It's just great. We've uh, today solved the problem with our uh, our what's it called again? Our the autopilot. The autopilot. Yeah. And that's made such a difference. It's great. Yeah. Well, we're getting it together. You know, we're doing a shakedown cruise, eh? So that always that always helps. And uh, well, when you come back up, you got to come and see us. I definitely will. Yeah, definitely will. Yeah. So it's been been a fun trip so far. The last view of this incredible lake here. Okay. So we managed to get anchored here in Whitby. And we're looking forward to the final leg of our trip uh, to St. Catharines. So it's another overcast and cloudy day with a high degree of fog. So there's not really much to see here. So we'll see if we can catch some, uh, some good views once we start hitting uh, close to St. Catharines. Uh, the weather was a bit rough uh, on the trip. Uh, we had three days of rain, some high winds, and uh, I guess uh, the sea state was a bit rough too. Uh, we managed to get up to six foot waves in the middle of Lake Ontario, which uh, is not always pleasant. Um, but uh, I must say that this non-such uh, really held its own. Uh, it's, it was a great little boat and tons of room inside. And um, I, was, I was very surprised uh, how she handled and uh, how well she did on the trip. So it definitely gets a thumbs up in terms of design and, uh, and build. I'm sailing, sailing down that river, sailing down that river of dreams. I'm sailing down that river, but it seems that I don't know where I'm going. But when the day is through, I'll come back home. 